Welcome back. Good to have you with us this morning. Well, we touted our politeness at the Vancouver Alex uh, Olympics. Rather, we are also known for it around the world. But it seems Canadians are losing their manners. Etiquette expert and Canada's etiquette guy, Jay Remmer, now joins us in studio. Good to have you here with us this morning. Thank you. It's great to be here. Are we rude? I think we're getting ruder and ruder by the minute. Uh, I think that it's 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 a problem that society, Western society in general, is facing today. Why? And I think we move. We, we've been come trained to move at a much faster pace than what we're used to doing. Mm -hmm. And I think that with the advent of some of the technology that's, that's crept in, we don't have the ability to sort of sit back and smell the roses. We're, always mo we're moving at, at too fast of a pace and we're unaware of the impact, for instance, that we have on one another. Mm -hmm. And it causes for rudeness because we become defensive, because we become unsure of, of our actions, because we're moving too quickly. So I think what we need to do is we need to slow down. Put down the black. I've, I've, I've always thought that the Blackberry and all this technology was the worst thing that could happen because we seem to be disengaging in society, becoming more within ourselves and forgetting things like saying hello or thanking people or even opening a door. Uh, you're absolutely right. I, I think that it, it's, it's really remarkable how uh, me, me, me the society has become. Mm -hmm. And th with these handheld devices, we actually hide behind them. We lose the necess necessity for face-to-face -face communication. And there's no substitute for that. And using these handheld devices constantly, is it just separates us further from real connection. And a human, basic human need is to connect. And this isn't a, a good substitution. Right, so we could talk about things like at the dinner table with table manners and, and those types of things. Are we also rude in that capacity? Well, we are simply because we don't oftentimes even have dinner anymore at the dinner table. And it so the family unit becomes weakened. Mm -hmm. um, dinner is, a, is an exercise where, where we communicate with one another in a pleasant way. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it helps aids digestion. It's a social experience. It is. And so sitting at the dinner table and t having taking pot shots at your kids, you know, yeah. what'd you do today? Well, how'd you mess that up? And all that, is not, that's not a healthy way to meet. However, it is very important for families to get together and have dinner together as a unit so that they can check in with one another and see how everybody's doing. It shows respect for one another. Mm -hmm. It shows compassion. And it's very, it's very important for that human connection to be maintained. And it's, and it's how information is transferred from one generation to the next. Right. Is this a generational thing? Because growing up, my parents made us sit at the table. We had to ask if we were to be excused. I mean, we had to do all sorts of things. And we, it, etiquette was demanded in our house. But it seems that newer generations, either mom and dad are both out of the house working. How much does that play into it? It plays a tremendous amount into it. I think that the economic situation with both parents working, yes. no staff in the house, so to speak, you know, there's, it's mm -hmm. harder to get babysitters. Um, it's very important uh, for uh, families to really, if, if need be, to even schedule time together. Right. So do you worry then for future generations? What do you think we will look like in 50 years? Well, this, is, this is my, my analysis is quite simple. If we don't reverse this trend in yes. a big hurry, we, d we will no longer have what I consider to be a healthy, sustainable society. I think it's in that serious of shape. You do, eh? I, I really find that do. interesting that you say that because I also think that we're heading in that direction where people just don't care about anybody but themselves. Yeah, I mean, when I go to teach workshops and that sort of thing or write columns or whatever, it's basically about teaching people how to be nice. You know, it's not anything more complicated than that, and it's all based in common sense mm -hmm. and courtesy. And don't we need to go back into the classroom then? Do teachers need to be given more power then to be teaching this if the parents aren't around to be doing it? Well, this is a great because question. Because I went to private school for many years, and then I went to public school, and we had very strict rules dealing with our elders. Yes. Ma'am, sir, yes. walking up the stairs on a certain yeah. side. These lessons have never left me. Right. And they haven't left me either. I did the same thing. But you know what? The responsibility is really with the parents. Yes. And teachers today have a lot of curriculum, much more curriculum to teach than, than they did when you and I went to school, mm -hmm. uh, especially when I went to school, because that was a, lot, a whole other <laughs> right. a few years earlier. But it's really important for parents to recognize that they have to take responsibility for their children. Um, if you could teach anything at this point, what lesson is the most valuable lesson you could teach right now? I think the number one thing is to not embarrass other people in public. I see Meaning it all what? the time. 
not putting other people down in, in a public way, whether it be your children, your spouse, your friends, not, not making them feel bad about themselves for, for your benefit. You'd be a terrible politician. <clears throat> I would be a dreadful <laughs> politician, but I'm the type of person that politics needs. <laughs> yeah, we need more of you, Jay. I want to thank you very much. I know that you're uh, looking at maybe writing a book which could probably benefit a lot of people. Yes. And I think there should be a TV show of this. Thank you. Get working on that. Thank will you? you very much. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it.